you get for being here. Oh, this is really cool. I'm able to go live on both of my pages. That's what I'm doing right now. On, but then I don't know which one is which. God, one is goddess. Oh, oh, this is goddess just be. Okay, I see it now. This is goddess just be, and this is goddess just be healthy. This is my first time going live on um on this particular one. But I want to talk to y'all real quick. I'm I haven't been going live lately because I've been fasting, <clears throat> and I wanted to talk to you all about it. Hi. Hi, Antonio. Hi, Nate. Welcome, welcome. Thank y'all for being here today. It's been a minute. It's been a minute for me since I've been going live, but I've been, it ain't, that don't mean I ain't been running my mouth, though, because I still do consultations. I still do my orders and everything else. Hey, Dion. Thank you for being here, babe. I just really wanted to talk to y'all about um, fasting, something that I really did not realize myself. I've heard about it, but I didn't realize the level, the next level fasting takes you on as far as a connection with yourself. And so right now, currently, I have two pages. I have God is just be, and then I have God is just be healthy, which is a, a backup page. On God is just be, I'm talking about mindfulness, I'm talking about all is mind. You know, I'm talking about the law of assumption. You create your own reality. That's beautiful. But some people are not there yet. So on my other page, I have God is just be healthy. And on that page, I talk about my journey for when I really stumbled upon um, knowledge of self or consciousness. I was really just on a journey, just wanting to eat different things, you know, treat my body better than I had been. And I gained mental clarity. And I gained this awakening, like, right? This, and that's why I often reference we have ears and we're not hearing, and we have eyes and we're not seeing, right? When I opened up that particular health page, I didn't share with y'all <clears throat> that at the same time, I started um, going on a fast, a liquid fast, where I am not eating any solids, I'm really only consuming water. Ju fruit, uh, fruit, aka juice, and um, coconut oil, right? For my healthy fats, for my energy. Right now, I'm a month in. I'm going for 90 days. I'm a month in. And when I tell you <laughs> the level that it takes you on to connect to your body, it's something that I've never experienced before. The levels fasting take you on, not just for healing of the body, but the spiritual connection, being so in tune with self, being so in tune even when you meditate. It's like your thoughts instantly, well for me, my thoughts have instantly been creating my reality while on this fast. And I would encourage anybody, <laughs> anybody in their right mind to fast. And I'm talking about longer than 30 days. Uh, you don't have to go to 90, maybe 45. But it intrigued me. And I'm going to leave this on my YouTube channel because I ain't been posting over there either. It intrigued me in the biblical text where they talk about Jesus, the Christ conscious one, which I believe and will know that all of us are in our becoming stage to become the Christ conscious one. It intrigues me so much to know that that <laughs> biblical text talked about a 40 day and 40 night fast. The longest fast that I had ever been on was a 30 day one and it was just a water fast. This one here has been really different for me being that it surpassed to 30 days. And when I passed up to 30 days, it was like, oh my God. It's like you become connected to yourself at a cellular level. Your cells are alive. <laughs> they communicate and speak through you. Like, right? During the healing process is what I'm talking about of your body. And so when you might think, <laughs> for example, you might think, because I mean, I, I skip days before eating. 
you know, I've been raw for a long time with my diet. So I'm thinking, and then I'm regular. I'm not, I don't have any sickness or disease in my body at all. And I'm regular with my bowel movement and everything. So I'm thinking, okay, when I stop eating, when I stop eating, maybe I'm not going to have as many bowel movements no more because I ain't really eating anything. I'm not chewing. All of my food is turned into liquid. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Your body ends up going into another set level of a healing, a deeper level of healing. <laughs> so many interesting things have been going on. Even with my lymphatic system, you begin to feel everything. Even with my lymphatic system, and I, I'm talking really slow and kind of low because my lymphatic system has been draining and it kind of like tickles, like, right? It tickles like on the back of my throat. I can feel like in the, in my back. Well, in the first two weeks, and I, I posted about this here on my health page, and I'll do another video later today about weeks two through four. But on my health page right now, I have week one through two, where it was just draining sensation in my back. Like you could really feel me, your kidneys begin to purge. You know to be true because you have signs of it in the toilet when you see that you have a lot of sediment there. You have signs of it that your your bowel is cleaning or purging on another level because you go see something totally different. <laughs> Not to be TMI. But more importantly to me is really the great quality of sleep. It's me being connected to myself on another level. And it's a spiritual thing that's going on in my mind because it's really clearing up my thoughts. Because you know how we often say we have gut feelings and so our gut is intertwined with our head, our thinking, right? And so as within, so without, right? On earth as it is in heaven. So being that our gut is intertwined to our thinking, hmm, my thoughts have been so, so, so much different from what they had been in the past. Not that I was even thinking chaotic thoughts in the past. <laughs> but they've really been taking me on journeys. Just one thought alone. I'm not going to be here long. I just wanted to, you all to know where I have been and why I haven't been going live as much. I've been doing videos here and there. But I'm trying on purpose to be easy with myself on this fast because I'm not even halfway where I want to be on it. And normally, you know, back in church, back in the day when I was in religion, you don't, you never really talked about when you was on a fast. It was like a, a sacred thing anyway, right? So my videos have been hit or miss. And I just wanted to do this particular video so I could upload it to my YouTube channel for my supporters there so they'll know why I haven't been going live on this platform because I normally go live here and I'll upload it there. But I'm on a serious fast and I encourage you all. I encourage you all to, even if it takes, even if it's like a three day fast, I encourage you all to fast. When you fast, your body is healing at a cellular level. When you fast, your mind is healing at a spiritual level. When you fast, you are connecting yourself, mind, body, and soul. I encourage you to do one. I'm going to show, um, post a bunch of reviews or whatever, or updates for y'all. And I'm hopeful that it will motivate you all. I wish I would have done this a long time ago. But I always thought in my mind, in my limited thinking, which I try to teach you all not to do that. I thought in my limiting thinking, with longer than 30 days might be a little too much but now i know the tricks of the things that could su sustain me and my body and the minerals that i need i incorporate those minerals via my skin and via the two choices that i select and via the healthy fats that i consume to give me my energy like my unrefined coconut oil that i always brag about like right so that's what all i've been consuming besides my water my water with my thinking of a little sea salt and my sodium bicarbonate's pure baking soda, not the 99 cent kind. But those are the only things that I've been consuming. And just being still with myself and connecting myself to nature 
You know, a lot of people come on social media, and I, I, I promise, and I'm telling you this now, I'll never be one of them because it is not my desire. A lot of people come and they realize that going live often will get them so much money. Like, right? <laughs> You're welcome, Carrie. We get them so much money. If they get so many views, if they get so many supporters, uh, if they get so um, wa much watch time, you know, they might make money off of it. And so it begins to be a hustle. That'll never be me. <laughs> You know, somebody told me, you know, they would pump me up, keep going, keep posting, you gotta post, da 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 da, many a day. No, baby. <laughs> the most important thing about my journey is my soul. And in, in gardening my soul, my time goes into me. Time is energy. I'm gonna be emitting energy. E M I T. You turn time backwards and you have emit. I'm going to always make sure I'm emitting to me first. So I just came on here to let you know that I'm in my little hermit mode right now. But all is well. I'm going, <laughs> like just like in the, um, in the biblical text, I'm going out in the wilderness, so to speak, of my mind, the dark places within my body. And I'm allowing myself to be renewed and I'm allowing my mind be to be removed. Which is equivalent to in the biblical text when the Christ conscious went went away for a while and said, "Don't you know uh, I was about my father's business?" <laughs> so, nonetheless, I wanted to share that with you all. Take care of your body. Oh, and one more thing before I go: once after you get past like two or three weeks of a fast, if you're doing it right, like I'm teaching you all on my page. On God, it's just be healthy page. If you're doing it right, once you get past three weeks and you clear out that lymphatic system and you could feel it draining in your back and you could feel the renewness, this area right here, this path, this way right here, you know, where you might think it's just, um, it's just your, your stomach, right? But this is the area that it, and you think, okay, my stomach just hurt. But this is the area where you really are absorbing your nutrients, right? This pathway right here. And if it's clogged up, you're really not getting the minerals that you need. You really, if this pathway is cleared up, you're really full of S-H-I-T, like, right? So while your lymphatic system is purging, keep in mind your lymphatic system runs to your digestive system it's like a backup system so it cleans it there this is why it's also important for you to stop eating so your body once it realizes you're not putting food that it has to break down your body can break down what is right here stopping you from absorbing minerals that is very important and when you get to that place on your fast I encourage you to keep going. When you get to that place on your fast, your bowel movement may look a little strange. Strange things going to start happening. But your body is going to feel so good and so renewed. And you need to get to that place. Because if you have sinus issues up here, this has to be cleared first. So it starts in your back. And it's almost like the lymphatic system is draining all by your, your chest and your shoulders. But then when it gets to this here place, it'll begin to, to be that backup system for your digestive system. And that's why it's so important to keep going on fast while little fast and really penetrate it. And then after, so the back of the lymphatic system, then the front of it is cleared. Now that sinus, now that glaucoma, now those migraines, now those parasites that were in your head can will come tumbling down because there's nothing down here stopping it from coming down. And so this is what I'm talking about when I say that I can feel like my lip noise. You have a gang of lip noise like right here. I could literally right now while I'm talking to you feel it drain. You have a gang of lip noise underneath your armpit, between your legs, you know, your growing area. You will begin to feel it. And you will know that your body is here. Instead of wondering, ooh, what that pain is. Ooh, I feel stuffed here. 
oh, something hurt. You will know because we'll be in alignment. You'll be connected to your body. And this is how we're really supposed to be operating. If you pay attention, I watch, I don't watch TV at all. But I did watch TV one time this year and I was on Thanksgiving when I was by somebody's house. And they had cable on, like, right? I was looking because I was watching this old movie with Titanic. And between, you know, the commercials, every time a commercial came on, between the movie and when a commercial came on, it was always advertisements. And I didn't realize commercials are long nowadays. I'm like, I time the thing. It was about four minutes. Four minutes of, 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 of you being programmed like by foods, like, right? Back to back commercials with dripping whoppers, you know, burgers with cheese and this and that and thing. Everything on the commercial seemed like it was about putting something in your mouth. Whether you needed this peel on the commercial or you needed this burger or you needed this hot dog, it was always about consuming. We consume so much. And then we have pictures of juicy burgers with ketchup falling down to make us, you know, want to digest that thing too. <laughs> but are you eliminating? Are you giving your body a chance to eliminate? You see what I'm saying? Hey, thank you for being here. Hi, God's uh, disciple. That is very important. Just think about the makeup some of the ladies put on their face. You know, it's so beautiful. But you know that's going in your skin. That's an organ. Are you eliminating? Are you eliminating? Take time to allow your body to eliminate. The cells of your body are working to keep you alive day in and day out. Take time. Let them catch up. If you, if you know you've been guilty of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because we, if you think about it, we've been told upside down. And so now the season has changed and people are becoming more health conscious. And they realize, oh, I need to do it the other way. I need to, you know, be lighter on those, those heavy starches and that meat. And I need to consume more fruits and vegetables. I need to drink more water. Wait, I need more magnesium. I need more electrolytes. I need healthy fats now and you need that for your body but at the same time you got to give your body a break especially if it's out there robbing peter to pay paul this is so important i might be a little chill right now but when this fast is over <laughs> y'all gonna see the difference i'm on purpose like yesterday i went to go to the gym i love to work out I went to go to the gym and in my mind, I was like, I want to work out. I have so much energy. But I was like, no, nah, I ain't going to go. I'm going to wait a little while long until I at least get halfway through my fast. Because I didn't want to overdo myself and put any strain on myself. And I had made a promise that I would be easy on myself. But I feel amazing. I'm just taking it easy. I feel amazing. And it is my promise to you that you feel amazing too. And you will have some sleep that you never realized that exists. And those aches, let me tell you, okay, I said I was getting off of here, but let me tell you one more thing. One more thing, you got to know this thing. Because I didn't know this thing. And I be talking, I know a lot about health and wellness. My body shocked me. So in your back, when you first start a, 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 a fast, in your back, you know your kidneys in your back, right? Left kidney, both of them, like, right? And you know, you like behind your shoulder, you got this deep shoulder blade, like, you know, muscle, whatever you call it. I don't know. Right there behind that little muscle right here. <laughs> I felt like, oh, this is a perfect example, a description rather. Like, you know, when you sitting in a massage chair and the massage chair is getting deep into the muscle or you having a you know deep tissue massage that is how my my back was feeling i'm like oh my god just from simply allowing my body a break it felt like a freaking massage was going on from the top of my back i'm talking about underneath my shoulder blade and it released so much tension and boy let me tell you 
when that happened to me, I sat up in the bed and I just, I was doing like this here. <laughs> Don't y'all laugh at me. I was doing like this here in the bed because I was so excited. Ooh, my fast. I'm getting really good results here. And all I could think about was that, that TikTok where they say, I'm fast as F boy. I'm fast as F boy. Because <laughs> I really felt so excited about how my body was sending me signs that all that I've been doing was is working and healing my body. I'm telling y'all, we eating too much. I wouldn't lie to y'all. I ain't trying to sell y'all nothing. I got a whole website. I ain't trying to sell y'all a darn thing. I'm giving y'all step by step of what I'm doing on this fast. And I encourage you to take a fast and take breaks with your body and allow the white cells, white blood cells to be renewed. Allow your body, your, your immune system to eat away all of that stagnated food or energy that has been left behind because we were eating too much. Or maybe that your body had tucked underneath like your shoulder blade to put underneath there to save your life because it was chaotic and it needed to just push it out of the way just to keep you alive. So when you stop eating, your body can clean house now because you ain't you ain't eating every burger. You just drinking, hydrating yourself, and consuming your healthy fats or however you do. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because because guess what? To each his own, and we have our own journey. It's your journey. I just wanted to give you the thought, but I promise you, it feels so good. I promise you, it feels so good, and I just wanted to share. I wanted to share with you. Hey, brown sugar. Hey, uh, did me just became a, a top viewer? Thank you. Yes, I love fasting. Yeah, me too. Me too. Hey, Tika, thank you. Greetings, greetings. Oh my god, I caught your live. Yeah, you did, Tika. But anyway, that's it. That's the video. I'm about to go um, hydrate myself. I went to the store. I just came from the store and I got me from um, some mango juice from the uh, tree of Joe's down here. So I've been drinking my mango juice. I've been drinking coconut water. I've been consuming my coconut oils. And like I said, I do my my regular spring water. But I add a tiny pinch of a pinky Himalayan sea salt. And a tiny pinch of um, sodium bicarbonate by Bob Red Milk. What a, oh, and grape juice. Oh, grapes. 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 Get you some grapes. And this is why they don't have no seeded grapes out there. This is why the seeded grapes missing. Because, oh my God, they clean out your lymphatic system so good. And you understand it on another level when you got all kind of food up in here. So when I drink my juice from my organic seeded grapes, oh my God, my body feels so good. My body loves that. I didn't realize my body loved to like this here until I just stopped the in-between eating. I want y'all to experience this, man. I really do. I can't put, um, pressure y'all into doing it, but I just wanted to tell you, make sure you follow my backup page. God is just be healthy. Follow that page. I'm going to be giving away everything that I'm doing. And I'm hopeful that it'll help. Even if, even if just one person do it. Even just one person do it. Because I know these things that I'm giving could save somebody who's experiencing disease in their body. Who may be magnesium deficient. Who may be walking with a limp. Who may have irritable bowel syndrome. Who may have acne, who may have gout, who may have high blood pressure, who may have diabetes. I know this to be true, that this will save those people. But you got to want to be, you got to be willing to give up something. And on this journey, on every journey that you go through, on this journey too, you're going to have to be willing to give up something. And maybe you could go back to your food later, if that's, if that's the only goal you have. Maybe you could go back to your sugar if that's what you want to do with your journey. But at least get it in your system how it feels to be healthy. How it feels to feel good all over. How it feels to have such a good quality of life. How it feels to have such a good night's sleep. How it feels to not have an ache in your body. How it feels to have good skin. How it feels to have fresh breath. How it feels to have regular bowel movement. How it feels to know that your kidneys, both of them, are working to flush out the uh, settlements that's in your body. The acids, the, the, the mucus, the, the, the lactic acid, and the uric acid. Get to know how it feels 
when your cells of your body are working for you to save your life instead of being cast away and dying and robbing Peter to pay Paul. Get to know that feeling because not only did you come here to experience life, <laughs> but you also came to remember that you are God and that you are the operant power and that you can control this avatar self and that you are your own savior and that you are your own healer for yourself. But you got to want to get to know you like that. I can't make you own it. You got to want that for your own self. I can show you that I can do it. And if I can do it, I know you can do it too. Because I know you God too in physical form. In your kingdom over there, you can be, do, or have anything that you put your mind to. Stop letting the beer stop you from having the best body. Stop letting sugars, because they're addicted to, addictive to you, keep you on a high. With your high fructose corn syrup, keep you on a high. That you don't want to come down. And you know that same high is causing you aches and pain later on during your day. Let no thing, is what I'm saying here. No thing stop you or separate you from loving on you. Because this is, this is love here. When you can sit back and say, no, it ain't about the physical. Mm -hmm. I ain't worried about the makeup right now. I ain't worried about being live and being in everybody's face right now. I'm going to set up some time to love on my body and treat my body right and give it the fruit that it's been yearning for. Give it the break that it's been yearning for. Stopping with the liquor, trying to say, I only live once, <laughs> but yet I destroy my liver in the process, the liver is how you live. Isn't it funny that it has live inside of it? We could all do better and teach our children to do better because we are the ancestors. Shouldn't the ancestors be righting their wrongs? Shouldn't the ancestors be reinventing the wheel but making little tweaks in between? lifetime after lifetime to become greater and greater until we all reach the lifetime that we are all walking Christ conscious beings that have mastered the body and because after you master you get got to get to mastering something because after you master this body with health and wellness guess what up next you gotta master your mind with spirituality by knowing the laws of this land of your land <laughs> universal laws that you might not be able to see but they exist <laughs> and you being rude or governed underneath those too so be good to yourself man oh my god I can't express it enough be good to yourself I'm looking at these comments and then I'm going to get up out of here because I want to go um sit outside let's say hello big Lauren oh thank you babe thank you hey uh, queen cake yeah yeah dry skin everything man my skin oh my god my skin I'm so proud of you got my eyes watery <laughs> that's funny I'm so proud of my skin I'm so proud of <laughs> of my um my sleep I'm so proud of my tenacity just not even giving up on this fast you know <laughs> Just not stop it every day. Just hitting, setting in, tone, in, in stone. Okay, I got to drink this. I got to make sure I do this. I got to do this. I even put, um, I even been putting sea moss. That's probably why you think I'm glowing over here. I even put sea moss on my face at night. That, that'd be my little night, um, night, um, facial mask. Because, you know, you put that on if the gel. Thank you, babe. I appreciate that. You put the gel on your face and it tightens up your skin. It's really helpful for collagen production, right? So I've been putting sea moss on my things. I've been taking magnesium soap baths. I've been going outside in nature. I've been good to me. I've been practicing what we call self-love. And I want you to practice it too. I want you to not only practice it, but perfect it. Okay? Anyway, hey, Miss Being So, thank you for being in here. Anyway, this video, what can I use for dry skin? Uh, try going, um, well, actually, I sell um, soap 
on my website called Be Nourished. It's really, really good for dry skin. I'm out here in the desert, so trust me, I know about that. And, and normally, when your skin is really, really dry, it's a combination of this hard water out here in the desert or lack of minerals, per se, in your diet, too. Yeah. Ingre certain gre ingredients that you got to pay attention to is uh, coconut-derived uh, glycerin. That will really, really help you with dry skin. And make sure that your oils or whatever you're using is in a proper pH balance. My soap called Be Nourish. You I don't even put on uh, lotion after I get out of the tub because that will have you moisturized the next day. But in conjunction with Be Nourish, there is another product called Bee's Body Butter with Shea Moisture. The Shea is a thicker, thicker butter, which actually penetrates in our darker hued people's skin a little bit better and stays on longer. Plus, there's, you know, the coconut-derived glycerin inside of it in the, in the ingredient. So those two products will help you out and renew your skin. And, and it get rid of those fine lines inside of your skin too. That actually, when I came out here with this hot, this hot heat in the desert, surprised me, took all my moisture away. I had to actually tweak my products <laughs> because my skin actually got drier out here in the desert. Well, it shouldn't have been a surprise, but it happened. So those two products, I made them with intense moisture. So check that out on my website. My website is www.soulofthearthhub.org. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Anyway, this video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be good to your body. Take care of your body. Fast. Even if you skip one of them three meals a day, skip a meal. Drink water with sodium bicarbonate. Right? How are you handling temptation? Oh no, all is mine. I'm not tempted at all. I never had any temptations to begin with. I never did eat sweet anyway, so I'm handling that easy. Matter of fact, I cooked for somebody. Well, I, I've been cooking for somebody and still not eating because my mind is made up. So no, I've already mastered my mind. I said, where do you purchase the sea moss you use? Oh, that's a tough one. I, I used to sell sea moss, but I stopped. So I have a bulk of my own. Try Etsy though. Try Etsy. E-T-S-Y dot com. And make sure before you purchase, you look at all of the reviews. And only purchase a small quantity the first time around. There's a lot of imitation sea moss out there. If you, when you get yours, I'm telling you to buy a small amount. Because when you get yours, and it's jam-packed with salt on top of it. And it feels flimsy, rubbery, it's not that, not that one. That's the, that's the one that I personally do not believe. I believe that some um, raised moss, you know, genetically modified moss, you want the texture to be like, um, like Chinese noodles, like, right? You want it to be gold. You don't want no other colors, but the gold, you want it to feel like the Chinese noodles, and it should not have all kind of salt on top of it. Because that means they done poured salt on top of it while it was in the little swimming pool when they genetically modified it, okay? So go to Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y.com, and you can find some over there. I wish I still um, sold it, but I stopped, and I just keep mine for my products and myself. All right? Be blessed, babe. Y'all take care.